everyone, it's Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to have you here. If you're wondering why are you in work clothes and you look real nice, it's because it's before work and I usually film after work. So this is literally my alarm going off. I woke up way too early. I woke up an hour earlier than I'm normally supposed to and I had to get my mom's car because as you probably heard in my last video, Patricia stopped working so we had to wait for a part so I had to use my mama's car for the next couple days so I had to wait for their car and it was just personally not a fun time I have a thrift book order there's, I think there's only two books in here I ordered a whole bunch of books they're coming in like one and two shipments which is like super annoying but I got one of these and then finally the one I've been waiting for okay computer you're my backlight you need to work with me. Finally, the one I've been waiting for forever, my fairy loot. I have been waiting for this fairy loot. It was delayed three days in shipping. It is the May box. It is the middle of June. I was so excited to get it. I was like, oh yeah. And then COVID just ruined my, sh so this is my first fairy loot. It is a book subscription box, which it's kind of like Owl Crate, but not really like Owl Crate. It is UK based, so if you're in the UK, you can totally get it and probably get less shipping time than I had to wait for it. But I'm super excited for this. We have our official Pioneer Woman unboxing knife ready to go, and I am stoked. But we're going to save that for last because I'm just a little too excited for it. But I'm going to open the thrift book order first. There is just two books in here. I always talk about how much I love thrift books. Um, because of everything that's happened with Black Lives Matter, with their diversity and their blogger friendly program, I won't work with them. I will not buy books from them anymore. So I kind of just went with thrift books. I've never had an issue with thrift books. If you don't mind your books being a little beaten up, it is a perfect place to go. Their books start at four bucks, which is an amazing deal for a book. So, Oh, these are the books that I thought. I didn't think these books were coming today. Okay, so first book. The first book I got was The Boy, The Bird, and The Coffin Maker. This is a middle grade book, actually. I heard Pastel Pages, I think she just changed her name to like Darling Desi, talk about this book. I was like, this will be such a cute little Halloween book. It's very, very short. So I thought this would be perfect for like a Halloween 24 hour readathon. So I got this one. Um, the synopsis for this book is Alberto lives alone in the town of Elora where the fish fly out of the sea and the horses shine like jewels. He is a coffin maker and a widower, spending his quiet days creating the file resting place for Elora's. When one afternoon a magical bird flutters into his garden and Alberto, lonely inside, welcomes it into his home. And when the kind hearted boy named Tito follows the bird into Alberto's kitchen, a door in the old man's heart cracks open. Tito is lonely too, but he's also scared and searching for a place to hide. Fleeing from danger, he just wants to feel safe for once in his life. Can the boy and the old man learn the power of friendship and escape the shadows of their past? <gasps> this is so, so cute! My heart just melted into a million pieces. Oh, that's so, so one thing I don't like about their books is they come with stickers. Now this normally isn't an issue with hardbacks and dust covers. Normally it's an issue with paperbacks because as you know when you get older paperbacks it will rip the sides. So I did get a copy of the Simplicity of Cider which I will post a picture of right here. It did come very beaten up but I guess that was my bad asking for it. An acceptable condition instead of like new like this is a like new book as you can tell the dust cover you know has the normal wear and tear that you would normally get with a used book but other than that it's pretty good so i always take the sticker off right when i first get them so let's see beautiful so like i said normally they're only an issue with paperback books so i normally do get hardcover books that are like new and this i believe was only a couple dollars so it was a steal the next book I got was Grey by E.L. James. As you guys know, I'm kind of a Fifty Shades of Grey fan. I know a lot of people do not like the books, but I did. I enjoyed the books. I enjoyed the movies. Maybe I'm just a smutty person in general. I don't know. But this is actually Fifty Shades of Grey through Grey's point of view. I'm actually super excited to read this book. I did enjoy it through Anastasia's point of view, but I feel like giving, you know, his point of view would be a fun time. So. And like even the old seller's stickers on there, like the old seller was selling it for $16 and I bought it for four bucks. So as I said, I hate stickers. Like I don't know how many videos you guys have watched of me, but every time I do an unboxing, I talk about how much I hate stickers on books and look at it left residue. So 
Fun fact, if you actually have residue on your books from any kind of sticker, like I know Walmart puts stickers on their books, and I do get books from Walmart quite a bit. If you have residue from any kind of sticker on your book, take a little bit of goo goo take a little bit of goo gone on a paper towel, rub it on there, leave it on there for a couple minutes, and then just wipe it away. It will not ruin your book if you don't use too much. That's why I say put it on a paper towel and just rub it in there. It will get that stickiness right off. I learned that from a friend. I promise it works. So those are the books I got from Thrift Books. I do have a couple more shipments coming. If I'm doing a video that day, I will unbox those as well, but I don't think I have any more actual boxes of anything coming. Um, yeah, I have my Owl Crate and Fairy Loot subscription for this month, like, ready to go. But I don't know when they're going to be shipped. If it's going to be like last month, they probably won't ship till July, so. Time for what you've all been waiting for, Fairy Loot! I'm excited. Okay, so, we always get this part on camera. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Oh, that is the most beautiful box I've ever seen. Okay, so here's what you see when you first open it. Okay, first we got a little card. This month was Desert Dreams. It gave me total, this gave me total like Aladdin vibes with, you know, the mystical carpet. So I'm actually going to skip the back of it and I'm kind of just going to talk about it as I go because the back of this card gives you everything that came in your box, where it came from, all that fun stuff. Owl Crate does that too and I really like supporting small businesses so that's something I really like about these boxes. And then I'm totally going to hang this card on my wall. I said it in my Owl Crate unboxing video. I think I'm going to do like a wall of these because they're totally cool. So we're going to get all this paper out. There's actually not nearly as much paper as Owl Crate had throw that stuff away all right so first and foremost okay that so we have this little everyone keeps giving me kitchen supplies my husband will ruin these he set our pot holders on fire we have this super cute spoon that says there's no such thing as just a story oh my gosh look how beautiful that is so this is what the top of it looks like so this is what the top of it looks like if you can see that it's just a little castle and a horse and then we have the quote written on the handle this is a freaking cute so this spoon so it says we have previously featured some kitchen utensils and culture but we thought there was something missing so we would like to introduce you to the bookish bookish wooden spoon engraved design by at katie petlers which i will put her thing right here it features a quote from the hero of the fall by alwyn hamilton adorable i'm totally gonna use that my husband's gonna be like what is that but yeah that's super cute next we have this little tin see that my freaking computer is like glaring um, and the side of it says, we hunt the flame and light in the darkness, the good this world deserves. That's freaking cute. It's just a little tin. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh, that's freaking adorable. Okay, let's read a little bit about this guy. So we're excited to share this amazing bookish tin designed by at Caddy Nora. As usual, I'll post their at down here. The artwork is inspired by We Hunt the Flame by Hafish Fitzel, and we love how it looks. It's perfect for storing anything from tea leaves to trinkets. That's so cute. Next, I'm excited about the little candles that come with it because I see so many people that have a ton of them. I know I just watched the Hardback Hoarders, um, her book room library organization and she had like nine million of these so it's actually kind of smaller than i thought it was gonna be but that's okay let's sniff sniff oh my god that smells so good i'm sorry oh my god i love candles <laughs> so this little candle is the tribal desert it is inspired by an ember of ashes my camera so there's that little candle it smells freaking delicious so let's read about this Relax and set the mood with this beautiful tribal desert candle inspired by an in amber in the ashes series by Sabah Tahir. They were hand poured by the amazing Aunt Wiccan Fable, post it here, and they will make your room smell delightful. This is freaking cute. This will even be cute like out of it. Hopefully my husband doesn't use it because I think I want to keep it. Oh my god, do you hear me like? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, if you can see this, I really hope you can. You see it better when it's over me? Okay. 
So it says, often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings. That's freaking adorable. Okay, let's read a little bit about this dude. It's actually the quality is really thick, which normally you don't see in subscription boxes. So this is a tea towel. It says, to expand your tea towel collection, we are sending you this gorgeous one designed by at Evie Bookish right here and inspired by the City of Brass by S.A. Kokobari. And you can also hang it up on your wall. We always love a multi-purpose item. Baby, you are scratching me. This is adorable. I'm excited for that. Zelda, why are you scratching me, babe? Next. Ow, Zelda, Crosby, get down. For some reason, when I read bath salts, I thought drug. These aren't drugs. So next, we have these Magic Desert Sand Triple Blend Luxury Bath Salts. And this is what they look like. So this is the front with the little picture. And then the bath salts are actually orange, which is my one of my favorite colors. Zelda's being super needy. So these say... Make sure you take time to relax. In your box, you will find some gorgeous desert bath salts to soak your worries away. These bath salts were made by Little Heart Gifts, and no worries if you do not own a bathtub. You can use these for a foot soak to give your feet the rest they deserve. Cute. AF. I'm in love with this box. Okay, this is freaking adorable, and I don't even know what it is. It says, this is a little, okay, I'm just going to see what it is. It's a sunglasses pouch! Okay, I won't use this, but I'm going to use it in my office for my other sunglasses, or maybe my actual glasses, because I have a little thing in my car that holds all my sunglasses, so I don't really have a use for this. But, it says you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it, and that is something I truly believe in. Move your tail, lady. So I'm super excited for this. I think it's super cute. So it says, as the days are becoming sunnier, we thought it would be fun to include a sunglasses pop so you can always protect your pair of shades. It features a beautiful quote from The Forbidden Witch by Jessica Corey and designed by at Christer Croft. That's freaking adorable. I'm excited for that, which won't. And you also get two tarot cards, which are freaking adorable. I think I'm gonna end up collecting these. So the first one, I have the Three of Cups, which I'm assuming is a character from the book we got this month, but I don't know what book we got this month. And then the Four of Cups, which is this dude. This is a character as well. This isn't a character, just this is the character, just to reiterate. It's cute, the tarot cards. And then finally, the book comes in a freaking book pouch, y'all. Sorry, excitement. I've been wanting to buy one of these book pouches, but every time I see them, they are like $100. They're not $100, I'm over exaggerating, but they're like $45 and I just didn't want to pay that much for it. So the book for this month is Open him up. No, oh, gotta turn it towards you. Ready? 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 Okay, first of all, let's go from here. Girl Serpent Thorn. Oh my god. This is a beautiful book. Oh, oh. Ah, that is so pretty! Okay, first of all, I'm gonna take this off. Look at this color of this book. Hold on, that's not the best part. Look at that! Look at that! Sorry, I'm yelling. Holy cow, that is beautiful! Oh my god! Did they do that with all of their um, their books? Someone tell me yes! Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm excited. Okay. Zelda, get down, baby. So that book is absolutely beautiful. So the synopsis for this book is, There was and there was not, as all stories begin, a princess cursed, the poisonous, the touch. But for Soraya, who has lived her life hidden away from everyone apart from her family, safe only in her gardens, is not just a story. As the day of her twin brother's wedding approaches, Sonia must decide if she's willing to step outside of the shadows for the first time. Below in the dungeon is a demon who holds knowledge that she craves, the answer to her freedom. The above is a young man who isn't afraid to touch her, who has eyes linger not with fear, but its understanding of who she is beneath the poison. Soraya always thought she knew her place in the world, but when her choices lead to consequences she never imagined, she begins to question who she is and who she is becoming, human or demon, princess or monster. This sounds freaking amazing, y'all. I'm so excited for this book. Next, we have this little note from the author, which also is, must be the characters from the book. It is a fan art. I'm actually kind of obsessed with fan art. If anybody wants to send me the fan art from A Sorcery of Thorns, I will create a boxing. I will take it. It's kind of my favorite book at the moment. So, the back of this card says, Dear Fairy Loot Reader, 
There are roses that grow right outside my bedroom window and in the spring they get so tall that I start to feel like Sleeping Beauty surrounded by thorns. With its good fairies and bad fairies, Sleeping Beauty is to me the fairy tale fall of contradictions and dualities. At the heart is a girl who is both powerless and dangerous. Through a sleep she is surrounded by deadly thorns that protect her. The heroine of Girl Serpent Thorn is herself a contradiction, a princess who feels like a monster, cursed and confined, yet brimming with poison and power. I think many of us feel this way, like a puzzle made up of pieces that don't always seem to fit together. Some of us may feel like we're poisonous, untouchable, or covered in thorns, but as Soraya learns in the novel, sometimes it's what we don't like about ourselves that ends up being the source of our greatest strength. In these pages, I hope you find excitement, emotion, empowerment, and comfort if you need it. Happy reading. That's adorable! Okay, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. And finally, you have the Fairy Loot Desert Dreams. It kind of just tells you about the box. On the inside, it gives you a little overview of the author. And then we have a little Q&A with the author. And then we also have the Standard Edition and the Fairy Loot Edition. So the Fairy Loot Edition is the pink edition, which is a beautiful. I don't have very many pink books, so I'm excited. Because I've actually got a couple more pink books with my Owl Crate. With my fairy Lou and my book of the month so that's exciting and then on the back here we have next month's theme which is a different kind of magic i'm very excited for this okay it just seems like it's gonna be a fun time i was super impressed by this box actually i was really really iffy about ordering it you're like oh my god that's really expensive for a subscription but everybody said so highly about it how great quality the products were so i decided to go for it we went for it amazing actually i love everything that i got everything was such high quality you get a candle come on and the book itself is already worth 20 bucks so you really get what you pay for especially with book subscriptions but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like it comment and subscribe if you like this very little unboxing if you go to my subscription down below whoa what am i australian if you go down to the description bar down below i have my owl crate my book of the month and my scribed and my fairy lure referral links if you decided to subscribe to any of those you actually get free perks if you subscribe to my link which is really cool and then i hope you guys really do think about subscribing to this this was really cool especially if you like books like where else are you going to get a spatula that says something like that but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye